G'day, I'm Mike Finch from Circus Oz and you're on City Search. Circus Oz was part of the reason I got into circus in the first place, so it's a bit like, you know, it's like starting your own little garage band because you want, you know, because you love the Rolling Stones and then one day you get offered Keith Richards' job or something, you know, it's like that. There's something really exciting for me. This is the company that got me excited about circus in the first place. Well, I am the MC, I am the ringmistress, I am the chanteuse, I am the boss moody. I'm the person that bosses people around. Look, we're, I mean, that's a good thing about Circus Oz is that every, all the performers do quite a number of different things in the show. So, like myself, I juggle, I do the aerials, I do acrobatics. Yeah, this is our second season with Oz. I actually, I did grow up in Australia. I started off at the Flying Fruit Fly Circus up in Albury. Everything is better without you. Well, we, it, it, Steampunk first occurred to us a, a year ago, actually. Our set designer, Daryl Cordell, came to one of our design meetings and just went, do you guys know about Steampunk? And for me, it was just like I slapped myself in the forehead because I, I did know about Steampunk, you know, but I had never connected it with Circus Oz. And um, in a way, it's the perfect genre because it's this, it's this sort of imagined past as if the future had arrived early and this kind of mash-up combination of Victorian-era values well, Victorian era aesthetic combined with contemporary technology and so in a way circus is that. I think we're conditioned to say more steam, more punk and more power. <laughs> more steam, more punk, more power. <laughs> more nah. fun. We're going to have more fun I think because we know, you know, we know what we're doing a little bit better this time around so we'll have a blast Speak on yourself. stage. <laughs> the version of the show we're doing this year is a bit of an evolution of the last year's show except it's um, kind of been cranked up a little bit so I guess you know I've turned the knob to 11. <laughs> what outfits have you been working on for this up and coming season? Oh well we're going our steampunk look this year so we've just, we always have to make uh, new costumes for the, for the acts so, you know we often run out of time mm. and we don't get to do all the decorative detail for opening night sometimes that's still happening yeah. after opening night but yeah it's, it's all that embellishment that really makes a circus costume. Most of what people imagine when they sort of the icons of circus are the sort of red co sort of ringmaster and the lion tamer and the you know the clowns with the frizzy wigs and the sawdust and all that and of course it doesn't exist now and in a way it it was a kind of throwback to Victorian era imagery and now we're doing stuff that's more punk and anarchic and rock and roll and stand-up comedy and something completely different. So this is the main drill hall and we perform all our um, rehearsals and training in here with trapeze and all the rigging in the roof allows us to swing on ropes. Up the back there is our workshop where we build all of our props. Round here is um, behind this, these soundproof doors is our band. Yeah, anyway, it's not that soundproof, but they're inside there rehearsing the music and all of our acrobats have been training to, to play all their brass instruments. We actually designed the show partly down here, so this would be a typical way that we'd talk about building the show. This is our teeter board act and we're listing stuff up but it's a constant process of devising so we don't work to a script so the show is basically built by the people that are in the room when you get together yeah so this is our space this is where we make our work